Hello everybody, this is Stringy Mab back for round five of the Spooky Showdown Tournament. Round five, we're going to pass the halfway stage of the round, Robin. Our main event of this evening sees the undefeated Sorrow Faganax taking on the T-Rex. We also have four more matches as well. We have Lanzusaurus going up against Eoraptor. A crucial game that could be for Eoraptor. Black T-Rex taking on Gastonia. Black T-Rex will be looking to make a, another statement victory there. Sejuangosaurus versus Diceratops. That could be a crucial game for Sejuangosaurus going up against a non-fire type. And then we have Irritator versus Eokarkiri. Now that was almost going to be the main event. Because Irritator's done really well this tournament. But I decided to go with Sorrow Faganax because he's won 4 out of 4. Right, enough jibber jabbering. Let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Alrighty then. In the red corner. He's orange, he's yellow, he sucks the life out of you. He's Lanzusaurus. Lanzusaurus, well, hit and mix so far. Got a big win against Sejuanosaurus. Disappointed against Irritator. But they're looking good in this tournament. In the blue corner, however. We got the Triassic little carnivore. He's a shapeshifter. He's your actor. And he's Lambiosaurus today. Ooh, you're up. They're going to fight fire with fire here. That does mean it will have green impulse. So this could be... We could be in for a very interesting match here. The Tootle Toon Crush gets triggered during a tie. So ties will definitely favour Eoraptor. But Lanzusaurus, you know... We'll see what we got. We'll see what we got in store. Ooh, that's a good start for Eoraptor. The elemental power is going to activate as well. Which is quite effective because Lanzusaurus' crit is a super move. So that's quite an effective weapon to use against any dinosaur that has super moves. Lanzusaurus though does respond, but yeah, look at that. Even the fragile Eoraptor can soak up damage with elemental power in effect. And look at this! Well, this will be interesting. A crit from the Lanzusaurus, but again, the elemental power will be a factor here. It will limit the damage. Oh, it did take a lot of damage, and I think one hit will do it for the Lanzusaurus. Ooh, but the Eoraptor gets the next hit on the board. Not doing much damage, and Emerald Garden has been triggered, which is very good for Lanzusaurus here. Definite opportunity here to win it, because Emerald Garden will ignore the elemental power, so... Emerald Garden here for the win. Oh, and he gets the win! Lanzusaurus gets the win! Another three points on the board, and another defeat for the Eoraptor. Yo, sucking his life away, and... Well, is that going to suck away any hope that Eoraptor had of a top 4 finish? It just might, you know. But as for Lanzusaurus, right in the mix. Okie dokie, on to our second matchup now. Okie dokie, in the red corner, we've got the big brute itself. The death-faced lizard is Black T-Rex. I don't know where I was going with that uh, intro there. <laughs> But I stopped myself in time. And yes, Black T-Rex. Looking to get another win on the board. To put pressure on the top. Four. Right, in the blue corner. He's gaseous. He's fluctuant. He's Gastonia. Gastonia enjoying a decent tournament so far. In, in with a shout. Getting a draw against the Irritator. But I feel like he needs to get a win here. Because he's currently sitting on four points. He's only got one win so far in this tournament. But it was against T-Rex. But can he conquer the Black T-Rex? Ooh, not a bad start there, getting the first hit on the board. Ooh, the Black T-Rex gets his first shot of the match as well. My voice is starting to go. Yeah, this, that's what happens when I record for too long. My voice just goes. Ooh, 
Well, not looking good for Gastonia after the first hit. They just haven't really got going. The Black T-Rex is overwhelming power. Getting in on top, and there's the win. There's the win for Black T-Rex. Job well done, and Gastonia yet again licking his wounds. That could be a crucial victory for Black T-Rex there. Puts pressure on the Soro Faganax at the top. Okie dokie then. On to our third match. In the red corner. He's purple. He's prickly. It's Sejuangosaurus. Sejuangosaurus. Well, really three straight losses. After our shock win against Eocarcaria. I feel like this is a must win for Sejuangosaurus. In the blue corner. He's got an orange temperament. And if you get caught by that temperament, you'll end up dead. Because it's Diceratops. Diceratops enjoying a decent tournament so far. A win, will, well, should take them up to second place. Well, they'll be level with Black T-Rex and uh, Lanzu, but uh, they'll probably have more points than those two. So, yeah. Diceratops wins, and they'll go up to second, putting pressure on Sir Faganex. But yeah, this is a crucial game for both of these two because Diceratops has a tough running after this. They have to face T-Rex, Irritator, Lanzusaurus, and Sorofaganax. So, about that is a very good start for the Diceratops. So, as per the crit block move removal rule, Diceratops will automatically go for scissors. Oh, it says he has to go for paper. Well, Sejuangosaurus, they've had tough matchups against fire types. So they really need to win. This is what, probably one of the matches they'll be targeting to get a win on the board. But things are not looking good so far. Oh, and that's going to be the killer. A big win for Diceratops. They're going to get a heap of points for it. 900 points as well. That could be crucial going into the latter stages of the uh, round robin. Well, things not looking good for our purple predator, but Diceratops on the up. Okie dokie, on to our fourth match. In the red corner, this dino will make you mad. Heh, he might make you irritated. Because he's Irritator. Irritator looking really good in this tournament so far. And they have yet, well, they, they have yet to play a fire type. In the blue corner, this dino from Africa will tame the shreds. He's Eocarcaria. Yeah, Eocarcaria picking up a bit of form after a slow start to the tournament. And a win here and they'll be right in the mix. It'll be tough for them though, they will have tight disadvantage against that Irritator. And that Irritator has all water moves. This will be an interesting match. But Irritator does have a good... They, this is the first fire type they've played so, so far in this tournament. If they can get a win on the board, and with a start like that, they're probably going to. They have yet to play Black T-Rex, T-Rex, and Sorofagonax. And Irritator was already second at the start of, at the, start of the round rock of round five, so... Irritator wins here. They got a really good chance to get in top four. And hell, they might even win this tournament. <laughs> Right, back to the match though, and your Carcaria responds with a crit there. Good hit, that. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's gonna do it! Irritate the cut in the eel Carcaria down the side with a water sword. And that is a comfortable victory for Irritate there. And that will heap pressure on the Soro Faganax going into our main event. And yeah, if you're wondering why the uh, score reset, is because I actually blundered one of the matches. So I have to do it again. It is finally time for our main event. Will Soro Faganax make it 5 out of 5? Or will the T-Rex take a bite out of his winning streak? Oakley Doki, in the red corner. The Jurassic Apex, the Lizard Eating Master, is Soro Faganax. 4 out of 4 so far. Completely flawless from the Sorofagonet. Although, I will say, those wins have been very tight contests that could have gone the other way. In the blue core, the Cretaceous Apex, 
the Tyrant King is T-Rex. Now, um, been, been an enigma so far, this T-Rex. It's had some good wins. It one-shot the Seji in the previous round, but it has had some disappointing losses, particularly to Gastonia, where it just didn't get going. So, not sure what to expect from T-Rex this time. But one thing for certain, we're going to be in for a good rate match. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, that's a blazing spin. Well, we've seen how much damage this thing can do. So, Faganax is going to be feeling the heat here. Oh, look at that. Not a one shot, but severe damage. And the Faganax yet again on the brink of defeat. Can he come back again? Ty. Not this time. No comeback this time. And the T Rex gets the job done. And well, it really is an enigma, isn't it? Ending the Sorrow Faganax's and Beaten Star to get the win and quite a big win indeed and that in fact will put the t-rex if i'm correct up to third wow what a contest that was we'll tally up the points look at the table well that is our table going past the halfway mark of the round robin sorrow faganax still sitting top despite that loss let's take note that sorrow faganax does have low battle points only 2239 despite the four wins because they have been tight games. We have Irritator in second place on 10 points. And then we have Diceratops third by virtue of the fact that it has more battle points than the T-Rex, Black T-Rex and Lanzusaurus. So yeah, at the minute, that is our top four as it stands. Then we have Eocarcaria still down here in seventh. Gastonia in eighth. Sejuangosaurus in ninth. And Eoraptor in tenth. Well, round six is going to be interesting. It's going to be a tough ask for these three now to get in to sneak in our top four so yeah that's going to end this session here so i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like subscribe ding the bell make sure you don't miss out on future tournament content and until then ta-ta